did not show up. Soros, Trudeau, uh, Jacinda Ardern, which bombshell news yesterday, she is going to resign as prime minister as of February 7th. Uh, she she claims that it is because she wants to, you know, the same talking points that every, any politician makes. Uh, family, this job's taking a toll on me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and she's out. Resignation, shocking announcement. Uh, most people thought she was going to, well, she did say she was going to run for re-election again. Uh, now we have reports that she's not very popular in New Zealand. There's some reports of um, interior investigation on her policies against people during the 2020 lockdowns and what they what she did to um you know what she did to her citizens so as soon as those reports come out she resigns uh jacob in reality we might not ever know why she's resigning but we, we can make some guesses based on the facts that we have uh what's your take why is she leaving so soon she's one of those so, Klaus was Schwab one of my leaving. favorite countries in the world to visit until she got hold of it i had always previously thought that the worst thing that ever happened to New Zealand in my lifetime was the two Christchurch earthquakes that they completely demolished that city. I saw with my own eyes what it did. I was there before, and I knew Christchurch quite well before the earthquakes, and I was there after the earthquakes. I thought the worst thing that ever happened in New Zealand was the Christchurch earthquakes until she got elected. The capital was no longer Wellington. It was Ellington. She is a wicked, wicked woman. Now, she's evil. However, she is of the same generation of Schwab slobs as Elliot Trudeau, as Trudeau, and as of Andrews in Australia, as Macron, etc. Understand the way feudalism works. Again, we're talking about a techno-feudalism. In feudalism, you have the nobility, the plutocrats, okay? The super rich. And then you had the vassals, the vassals, the vacillating sub servants of the super rich. Okay. She was a vassal. Trudeau was a vassal. Andrews was a vassal. Vassals come and go. <laughs> the plutocrats can replace vassals at a whim. What you are seeing within the WEF this time is a changing of the guard among the vassals. That's all. You're seeing people who had been players previously having less of a role now than they had in times past. That includes Trudeau. It includes Adern. It includes others. The feudal lords, the plutocrats, the feudal lords, will simply replace the vassals. It is not a meritocracy where the people who work the hardest or study the hardest or, or the most clever in business or the most inventive prevail and, and, and climb the ladder of success. In a feudalistic system, it's whichever vassals serve the interest of the establishment the best. You climb the ladder by being a vassal. Just think of the Soviet Union. You had to join the party and serve the interest of the Politburo. Whoever was the biggest bootlicker had the nicest house and the nicest job. Well, it's the same thing in Dava. Whoever's the biggest bootlicker will have the, the better positions. You know, I thought Arden was a big bootlicker, but I guess he, I guess he's done. They're done with her. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know. You know, you didn't do a very good job, Miss Arden, when you licked my boots the last time. Now I have to get someone else to lick them. You know, here's your pink slip. Have a nice day. That, you are seeing a changing of the guard to a degree by the, the feudalistic overlords. This is yeah. how feudalism works. It's standard feudalism. In Russia, people would do anything. If you were to read the Gulag Archipelago or you read the, the history of, of Stalinism, People would lick Stalin's boots, do anything they could to, to, to please Stalin. But then there'd be a purge and they'd all disappear and never be heard from again. That is the way it works. It's the way the game is played. Hey, hey, man. They are just uh, vassals of the feudal overlords. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Danny, you're closer to there than we are. 
in Australia, and and, and Australia is no picnic at this point. But uh, they didn't have an Arden. They they have a, a Albanese, and and you got a. Well, you can tell me more about him. Uh, I don't even want to say his name. Let's just say it starts with a D and ends with the in, in the second middle uh, last name starts with an A. But uh, what, what's your what's Australia's take on it? What are the believers saying over there? Well, <laughs> um, my first uh, initial reaction as soon as I heard the news, I was so overjoyed. I dropped everything. I was at work and did a cartwheel. <laughs> uh, I, 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 did like, I, I did the I did the haka. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I thought my reaction was extreme until I saw a few other posts on uh, Twitter and that. But, um, yeah, a lot of us are so overjoyed. Um, we're just thankful for small mercies, I guess. Um, going back to what you were saying before, though, Marco, about, uh, <laughs> yeah, who we have here, it's kind of like we always used to think uh, as bad as things were here, we used to think, oh, well, at least we we don't have her, at least we don't have her. We used to kind of refer to her, okay, you guys, you've got the Wicked Witch of the West, we've got the Demon Eyes Flying Monkey. That's how we kind of review it. So, uh, But, um, yeah, as what Jacob was saying, though, before is so true. It's kind of like she's uh, – her useful days are over, so they just throw her out with the trash now. The problem is now uh, who are we going to get next or probably be just as bad, if not worse. But um, – the only people I've seen uh, have a kind word about her too have been people like El- Anthony Albanese, and they're only doing it for their own political gains. Yes. They're not saying anything nice because they mean it. It's only just to because it's a political correct thing to do or to advance their own sort of thing. But none of can ever forget um, what just the damage and harm that Jacinda Ardern has done. And let's not forget her speech at the UN where she was calling for the global governance, the global censorship um, uh, thing that she was promoting. So yeah. she's been on that from the word go. Uh, just the, her cold, um, unmerciful comments that she made, you know, um, about, you know, how, how she treated the unvaccinated. She never had any mercy t- tempered in any of her comments. And uh, basically, uh, we're seeing that she's reaping what she sows. Um, the comments on Twitter <laughs> uh, uh, are justified. And, um, yeah, she'll, she'll get no mercy from most people. There's only going to be a few, uh, but most are going to show her no mercy and she's going to be a prisoner now of her own making, a prisoner of her own circumstances. She's getting out of politics, but it doesn't matter where she goes. Um, she's never going to escape this. Her her legacy is going to stay with her. Uh, I think of it was it in Proverbs where it says, "A wicked a wicked man flees where no one pursues." Yes, yes. So it doesn't matter where she goes now. She's going to be a prisoner of that guilt unless she yes. unless yes. something happens and she turns and repents. Yeah. But the damage she has done has been unbelievable. But there is joy in the streets of New Zealand. There's joy in the streets of Australia. There's joy in the streets um, in the UK, all over the world. People are rejoicing at what at her at her <laughs> demise. Yeah. Um, her, her laws, especially the abortion laws that she was passing last year, last two years. Were, I mean, America's got one of the worst ones, but New Zealand just overtook that. Uh, the, the reality of what they were doing to babies, it, it was yes. unthinkable that people would put up with it, but she passed them. She she was able to pass them through. I couldn't believe it. Just so extreme, so extreme. Yeah. We are we are so glad to see you gone. We are so glad to see you going. I think it gives us hope too that um uh maybe that demonized flying monkey may be next or <laughs> um <laughs> Astro Jr. or uh <laughs> yeah, oh, it gives us hope. Yeah. Well, we're going to be talking about Jacinda and back on backstage. So don't, 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 guys, don't leave and, and don't miss out on that because we got more stuff about, especially dealing with, uh, let's just say, some underage stuff. Yes. 